MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1-1. One, one is looked at for ball number two. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees the reading at first pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Albies brings it in. And a good throw gets him one gone. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He comes into this one just two for 12 in the series to this point. The one two. Two and two. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The next one two pitch. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Hard around first is Harper racing for second. And he will pull into second with a two out double. That is four. The first baseman number 17. Reese Hoskins. Standing in now, Reese Hoskins. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Ozuna, but he won't get there. It falls in, and the run will score as the Phillies are off to a one nothing lead. That is good. The third base. Stepping in now, Didi Gregorius. A ball and two strikes to Didi Gregorius. Ball. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Full count now. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring clear. position now with two away. Hoskins on second. Gregorius on at first with two down. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. A one two pitch. hit ball to second throw on to second for the force and the side is retired and that'll bring in the former top prospect Ozzy Albies it'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first and he misses two and one Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Here's Nick Marcakis now, the right fielder. 13 at bats in the series so far with four hits. Swung on but fouled off to the left. The one two. Ground ball foul down the left side.
This is on the ground over to first. Hoskins gathers it in. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Bases are empty here with two men out. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. A bouncer up the middle. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Up next will be Nick Williams. He's been productive at the plate in the series with six hits coming into this one. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Now the three and two pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. Freeman is up with it, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Scott Kingery. Two and two count, here it comes. Three and two now. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Acuna will wait on it. Two gone. So that next to the plate for the fills, the Nick Pavetta. Three. Nick Pavetta. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Acuna digs in now. He enters play in this one with his batting average up over the 320 mark. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. There to make the catch is Hoskins, and that's the first out of the inning. The next to bat for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. His prior history versus this arm. He's three for 15. Two of those hits were for home runs. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Stepping in for the Braves, Tyler it. Flowers. The catcher. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Here now the 2-2. Lifted in the air out to center field. Williams is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. to the top of the order now and that'll bring in the middle infielder Gene Segura swung on and missed he didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone one out so the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon so far 0 for 1 with a fly out hard sinker misses 2 and 2 Fly ball right down the line and left. 
Ozuna is over now and he puts this one away in foul territory and there are two men out. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Now the one and one pitch. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Ground ball right into the ship. Albies picks it up, and the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Austin Riley. The 2-1 home is a slider that misses below the zone. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Williams looks up, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Into the box now, Mike Soroka. Base is empty here with nobody out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So up steps Ozzy Albies. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. In there, 2 and 2. Grounded softly down the line toward first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Segura takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Now that so bases are empty right here field. with two gone yeah. and standing in the powerful oh, right fielder good. Nick Markakis. The one one now to Markakis and he lays off for a ball two and one. Marcakis ahead with a three and one count here. Freddie Freeman would be next. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. We all know he's a really good hitter. This is probably a good example why. He fell behind 0-2, but threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. The 1-1 home. And right into the shift. But a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a soft liner, and he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth. Running hard, he's digging for second. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. Now that is the third base back. To the plate now, Didi Gregorius. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Still two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Coming to the plate now, JT Realmuto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full 3 and 2.
lifted into the air to shallow center. Albies has a play. And that's the second out of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat. Nick Williams. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, the 1 2. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. Hot shot on the ground is short. Camargo brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Ronald Acuna. Three and two now. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Hit well on the ground to first. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Digging in now, Marcelo Zuna reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful nope. here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting now one in the seats. Here's the 1-1. One, one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in the zone, or do you just pitch around them? 3-2 pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. And the next in is Johan Camargo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two and two now. One run, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. The set and the one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. After it is McCutcheon. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Scott Kingery. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the two two. Is looked at and the count moves full. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bump them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Nick Pavetta. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. He'll try again, one, two. And now 
a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. The back, number two. Gene Segura standing in. 0 for 2 mm -hmm. on the afternoon so far. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Philly shortstop in front of the count. Three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Digging in, Andrew McCutcheon. He flew out in his last at bat. A one one. There's a low changeup that's laid off. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. The two-two. Chopper to short. Camargo's got it. And he is. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Harper. Hit on the ground out to short. Camargo picks it up cleanly. Ball on to first is in time. And the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Adam Morgan, a six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. Ender Inciarte will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Ender Inciarte. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Morgan is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Popped up. Gregorius has room in foul territory. One out. Now with the plate, Ozzy Albies. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One run, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Nick Markakis digging in now. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Harper has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Felix Hernandez takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 34. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Hit hard back up the middle. And this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning. Now back. At the plate, Didi Gregorius. Now a curveball misses inside. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Reined in to second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Digging in now for Philadelphia. JT Real Muto. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 1 home. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Ozuna. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now to the plate, Nick Williams. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Nick Williams. Hernandez readies the 1-1. One, one. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. and one. Oh. 
Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. A 1 1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. Into the box, Ronald Acuna. One and two. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Williams is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. Couple of walks for him thus far. Now the one and one pitch. Hit back up the middle. Segura has it. And that's the second out. Into the box. Now Tyler back. Flowers. Petcher. No hits to Tyler. this point. Two out, nobody on. Down low, two balls and a strike. Heading out towards shallow right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Luke Jackson is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Leading off the inning, Scott Kingery, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And that's through into center field, so the tying runs aboard to kick off the inning. Neil Walker will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Quick check on that tying run at first. And a dive, but he's back. This is pulled into right. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The battle. Number two, shortstop, Dean Segura. Standing in now, Gene Segura. Two and one. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a great location that time on the corner, three and two now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Lifted down the line and left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit on the ground to short. Camargo brings it in. Throw to first is not in time. And we've got ourselves a tie ball game. Mark Melanson comes on now. And he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven.
stepping in now. Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? On to first. So he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Bryce Harper. Harper. The set and the 1 1. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. To two balls and two strikes now. Chin high. That's taken for a ball. Reese Hoskins would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Ready with the payoff pitch. And he lost him. Ball four as Harper will reach. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come. Reese Hoskins. The 1-1. One -one. A dive, but it's off his glove. And the run is in to score from third. It's a three to two ball game. Now batter, the third baseman, Didi Gregorius. In now, Didi Gregorius sent on the ground out to second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Victor Arano will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Leading off the inning, Johan Camargo. And they'll need him to get something going here. 1-1. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hits softly down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Ready with the two and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Austin Riley comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Grounded weakly toward third. And there's out number two. Adani Echevarria will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 24, Adani Echevarria. Two and one. Three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. McCutcheon will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Shane Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 19. So stepping in, JT Realmuto. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1 home. Skied into straightaway right. Marcakis has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Ready for another shot now. Nick Williams. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 1 pitch. Nope, outside. Wow. 
And he lays off again, ball three. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Popped him up. Flowers over to his right, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, now batting, Scott Kingery. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 2-1. Shoots this one over to first. Freeman's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Austin Davis will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Adam Hazley will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. One one he swung on and missed and that's strike two. Hey hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four this series. And well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Here now the 2-2. is laid off and the count runs full. On deck is Nick Markakis. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Riding in once again, Nick Markakis. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Dansby Swanson will come on now and pinch run here. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Freddie Freeman as he'll look to bring home that time run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they... This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. The tag, and he's safe. And we are tied here in the eighth. Adam Duvall will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. So now to the plate, Ronald Acuna. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. 3-1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3-2. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. To second for one, on to first, and they get them both. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He was a ground out victim last time up. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And there's ball two now. Three balls and a strike to the Braves left fielder. Ready with the three one. Grounded back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And that'll bring in the go-ahead run from third. It's now a 4-3 to three game. Sir Anthony Dominguez takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. At the plate, Tyler Flowers. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Will Smith takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 51. New inning set to get underway, and next it'll be the outfielder, Adam Hazley. Now the 2 1 will not catch the zone, ball three. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a suit can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. Yeah, 
There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura, they'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Pitch is popped up. Duvall waits on it. One away. So a runner at first now with one away. And that will bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Two one. Here it is. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Now the one and one pitch. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Down the first baseline. And he has come through big time as this ought to tie the ball game and maybe even get him a lead. He pulls into second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Hit to first. Scooped up. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Johan Camargo. Yep. And it lay off a fastball up in the zone here, and that brings it to two and one now. This is hit the other way out toward left field. McCutcheon is under it. One down. Stepping into the box, Austin Riley. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Riley. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Fouled off. Travis Darno with an even two and two count now. Sent on the ground out to second. Kingery's there. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Grant Dayton takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 75. We are into extra innings and in steps the catcher JT Real Muto.
hard liner towards short. And that's going to get through into left. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Davey Grion will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. He's hitting for the pillow. Number 73, Davey Grion. and it's going to set up a big pitch now three and two that was kind of a gift to the hitter he's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone it's obviously easy to take that one ready with another two strike offering a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap and they take the lead. It's gone. That's a great job by the hitter right there. Extra innings, breaks the tie up. That's not an easy thing to do. Into the box now, Scott Kingery. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. High and deep to left center field. Back goes Ozuna to the track, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall, and they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Chris Martin will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Your attention, please. Now picking for the Braves. Number 55. To the plate now, Roman Quinn. That's ball swung on and missed. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And there's one away. So digging in now, Gene Segura, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Now the payoff pitch home. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Standing in, Andrew McCutcheon, struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Two balls and a strike. Could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Line drive to center field. Acuna is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. David Robertson enters the game here an inning later than usual as he'll try to close this one out in the tenth. Ozzie Albies will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. The right fielder, Dansby seven. Swanson lining Dansby. up to hit. Four hits in 11 tries in the series so far. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Now at the plate, Adam Duvall. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. 
Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch the at bat. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Final strike for the Braves. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And the run will score all the way from first. That makes it 6-5 to five now. At the plate now, Marcelo Zuna. And that misses 2-1. Fly ball out toward right field. Harper has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. The Philadelphia Phillies wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Sir Anthony Dominguez gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. David Robertson closes the door for the save, his 13th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Final line score this afternoon. First quarter victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Six runs on 12 hits. One error. They left 12 men on base. For Atlanta, five runs on five hits. No error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 29 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please Drive home safely.